Hey gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, The Talking Balaclava. Today I'm answering a question that I think not a lot of people are asking, but I still believe is relative to answer. And that is, do vertical foregrips help with recoil mitigation at all? Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is that there is kind of two schools of, of thought. One is that, hey, just be a man, C-clamp that rail, especially with the modern rails we have today with a slick end block, and ride that recoil. The second school of thought is that, hey, if these exist, why not use these bad boys? So I figure, why not try it out? So the scientific test we're gonna do, so we're going to shoot, and we're gonna do two different times, probably around five rounds each time, one with, one without, then we're gonna stop. I'm gonna smoke myself with a slick rail and then shoot five rounds and then smoke myself again with the vertical four rip on and see if there's any uh, probably difference. Now we're gonna be doing this at 50 yards. I got an LPVO, I'm rocking my Quantum Mark II from Blackout Defense. I love this gun, very solid rifle. Very nice, very good gun, great people, love them. Uh, well, we're gonna do that and so it should be a quick little fun video and I wanna kinda see this. I figured this makes the most sense because when you're not fatigued, recoil mitigation is actually, you know, it's not hard, right? So I think maybe the VFG might help when fatigued. And so what this is, this is gonna be one of the Magpul VFGs. I chopped it down because I think it's a little bit better when it's not as large or long. So it's just a little hand stop when I am C clamping. The conventional C clamping that you would normally see, like a, a gun noob do, is just like they grip it like this. It typically what gun guys do is they C clamp around it and use it as a hand stop. And I think that does help a lot. So. I think you could do it either way is my hypothesis. Like why not? It's your gunfight, do whatever you want. Whatever's most comfortable to you. Uh, but I wanna see for myself if this actually works. So I have no interest in gaming this. I'll try and shoot the five rounds for each cycle as fast as I can, maintaining accuracy. Little bit of like variable, it's not like I'm a robot, so there might be some fallacies within this test, but I think this is within my realm of big chimp scientific testing. All right, here we go. This seems about 40 to 50 yards. Murphy's Law, baby. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. All right, that was five rounds. Going for the head. Oh, that's bad, that's embarrassing. I must have zipped one high. So no stress or duress, got four. Yeah, it looks like four, it's embarrassing. All right, now no stress or duress. We'll throw the grip on there and see where they're falling. The speeding up montage commence in three, two, one. It takes me to do forever when no one's watching, so now they have an audience, it's gonna be like failure, failure to launch. I don't need to get it like crazy tight on there, so it's gonna be for a scientific exam. It's stiff enough. Wait a second. It's stiff enough. Go to the same spot. I can feel myself probably pull that one of those rounds high, so. Embarrassing. Science rules. All right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right, now that was with the vertical foregrip. Five over here. Not technically within the A zone, but uh, whatever. All right, so for this one, before I smoke myself, let's actually just do a circle. So. We'll do it around the C zone over here. Holy Jesus. And we'll do another one. What is that? Is it similar size? What the fuck is uh, that? The science on this is very loose and fast. So we'll go grip and then no grip. Okay. What is that? So now the goal for this part, we'll do a very tight, as tight of a grouping as we can get. Right now I'll keep the grip on and then I'll smoke myself real quick. That's a quick graze a heart rate. A uh, good gasser, shoot my five rounds, take a quick breather, reset, take the grip off, smoke myself again, and then shoot the nun. So that way, once I take the breather, I'll be a little bit fresh for when I smoke myself yet again, so it's not the double smoking, right? Okay, let's do it. All right, cool. So LPVO will be on six power. I'm now going to commence the smoke fest, at which point I will regret doing this video. So the weapon is hot. I'm just gonna leave her be. I'm not gonna incorporate her. I'll probably do, do a run downhill, run uphill, and then do some burpees, push-ups, and squats. What do you think, Joe? What should I do? All right, I'll do it. Let's leave my ear pro up here. If any of the desert hobos try and steal my gun, stop them. Run, Forrest, run! Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I could run like the wind blows. A downhill run's always the easiest part. 
Now, while I run up and down this hill, I'm going to tell you guys about the Sonoran Desert Institute. It's going to be this video's sponsor. For all of your gunsmithing needs, head on over there. Become scored away within the industry for learning and working on firearms. You can help out yours truly with really squaring away my future projects and weird guns because I'm a big champ who knows nothing about firearms. They don't just offer gunsmithing courses. They offer a wide array of different things that will help you out within certain industries such as running my stats. I'm about six foot. I told my wife I'm like six foot one. Currently I'm weighing 230. Their UAS program or unmanned aircraft system fundamentals really get you squared away within working within drones because drones are a part of our now future. Heading over down there in the link and check them out. Nice. Feeling gas enough off that. And it's hot as hell out here. All right. Ah. Ah. Okay, it's like I hit everywhere except where I want it to. Okay, quick breather, drink some water. Yet again, it's really hot out. Reset. Why did I do this to myself, Joe? Why did I do this? Safety check. Cool. Clear. Look, touch, feel. Just like my wife. If you've ever smoked yourself in the desert, while wearing a ball clava and tactical gear, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The things I do for you guys, things I do for you guys. I would say I'm well rested enough to run the second test. Got a little gassed out quicker than I thought I would, so I figured, hey, just jump on the gun, shoot. No need to like smoke, smokes myself. We'll do the same thing, run downhill. Got the bush identified, run back uphill. I'll do a set of burpees, squats, and push-ups. I did like 10, 10, and 10, and then fire off a string of five. Very simple, very easy, but adding this level of physical it's not really like straight like well this much isn't like oh but just enough to affect marksmanship at 50 yards you know through an lpvo and an ar-15 right for this quick test just enough this isn't like the you can do this you can do anything test it's not that it's not that okay all right joe am i ready uh, hoping you would say no all right let's go Ever since that day, if I went anywhere, I was running. Trying to be as in control as possible. Right. Everyone's favorite burpees. We can go. I feel like I look really unathletic. Damn, boy. I'm just really angry. Damn, boy! He's there, boy! You're saying you're not low enough. I got my play carrier on. Let me alone. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never What the heck? It wasn't even that hard. I think the shirt's too tight. It's cutting off my circulation. Okay, quit being a bitch. All right, so clearly, gotta love the desert. Ran it, second time. Accuracy actually got one of the hole this time unlike being a scrub for the last round. So, huzzah, right? Okay, so that was without the grip. Technically, I think similar groupings. Got two tight ones over here, a few stragglers. So, not a great grouping. Technically, it's, it's getting there, right? The, the groupings in the head when I was fresh were a lot tighter. You can see up here. It's a lot tighter, I would say overall in general. And then once you added the physical stress and duress, they opened up. So, really kind of, could be apples and oranges depending on your shooting skill, your preferences. But I figured, hey, why not try this out? It's something that I could show off really quick, really easy, and maybe you could try it out for yourself and see, hey, maybe I like this style, or maybe I don't. So get out there, get a, give it a shot. Most importantly, before you go and shoot guns, 
work out. Physical fitness is the most important thing out of all of this. So get after it, get in the gym, hit up your homies. If they're on the couch playing Call of Duty and they're not in the gym, then you're wrong. All right, gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the cardio God, a God we all hate, but we all need to worship a little bit. So if you want to support the channel, you wish you perform Patreon. Excellent way to support the channel as well as merchandise. As always, I'll see you guys on the flip. Thank you.